Hey guys, Refix, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you my first World War II video. It's basically gonna be what I think of the game, I guess. I've only had it for like five days or so, and all I gotta say is, wow. It's, a, it's an incredible game. Hands down, it's probably one of the best Call of Duties I have ever played. I just hope they don't load it up with like microtransactions or anything like that, because that would uh that would definitely be a, a buzzkill. It really would. This is such a good game, and if they ruin it by just loading in tons and tons of microtransactions, it's, it's gonna kill the game a little bit, I feel like. And Sledgehammer's kind of prone to doing stuff like that. How do people get up there? Like, I see people on top of things all the time. I don't know how to get up there. I can't get up there. I can't get up any higher. That's the thing. I can't get up any higher than that. What? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stupid. You're you're gonna fall off there, bud. I am retarded. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, jump into a... Oh, wow. What? I, okay, fall 15 feet or more in the headquarters. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into a game. I've been trying to get my sniper's diamond, as you can see. I have a golden 1903 on my back. The gun is amazing. First time I used it in the beta, I fell in love with it instantly. And we are on Battle of the Bulge. We're playing Operation Griffin right now. War is, like, probably one of the best things that's ever happened to Call of Duty. Hands down. Best thing that's ever happened. It's like taking Battlefield 1's operations and shrinking it into something thing that's more fast paced and more like call of duty style and i love it. it it works so well the only map i don't like is neptune which is based on d-day which i mean it's not completely bad but it doesn't work as well as it should they shouldn't have remade d-day they pro they should have remade something other than d-day i mean i like most of them and there's only three so There we go. I need to... Oh, hey, that's... Yep, that's a turret. I'm trying to get bloodthirsties, and it's pretty hard. Pretty hard in, uh, in good old war, you know, like, core playlist, mainly because this is a two-shot kill sniper. This is the only one I have to get gold. Oh, hey, that's close now. <laughs> Would you look at that? This is the only sniper I don't have gold. So as soon as I get it gold, I'll get diamond, but oh, man, is it a pain in the butt. I tell you what, this is, like, the most annoying thing in the world to get gold. It really is. Hardcore. I was playing hardcore for God knows how long... People in hardcore, they do, they don't know how to aim. Now, if you use like a semi-automatic gun in hardcore and you you do decent with it, kudos to you because I can't do that. Because most of the people that play it play with like an LMG, a submachine gun, just automatic weapons with really big spread, and it just it just completely kills the game because they don't have to aim. They can just spray and pray all day, every day. It's kind of annoying. And oh my god, dude, I wish I could get bloodthirsties. Jesus, <laughs> it's like I gotta aim for the head. That's all I got. I do we gotta get headshots oh boy how how am i getting one shot kills i'm not getting medals they must be injured or something i'm just waiting for someone to pop up in that turret there he is oh that was a headshot there's someone over here there's someone over there there he is okay there's two peek peek this side please three four. Oh, one more dude one more no what? Where was he? Oh my god. How did I not see him? I actually can't believe I got that close to a bloodthirsty and something other than hardcore. That's a, that's impressive. Not gonna lie, that's impressive for me because I I despise this gun a lot. I hate this thing. Okay, there's one. Um, there's a guy. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven? Oh, wow. I'm one off of quad feed check that out holy crap <laughs> jeez okay so there's one one bloodthirsty that, that's one bloodthirsty out of the way would you look at that so as i was saying earlier war is hands down the best game mode that i have ever played in any call of duty and we we actually won that that's that's awesome so yeah by far hands down best game mode i've played in a long time in call of duty and if you are war it's a good game mode to warm up in because i've noticed it doesn't count towards your kd it doesn't keep track of deaths therefore it doesn't count towards your actual kd because i i had a 1.8 for a while 1.8 to 2.0 in normal like core games and i went into hardcore to get my one shot one kills and it freaking plummeted 
to I think a 1.5 it went down really far but I noticed that after like if I had a really bad game of war if I died a lot and only got like 14 kills in one round then it didn't affect anything it didn't affect my KD whatsoever which is really cool because you can use it practically as a warm-up game type which is awesome that doesn't hardly look any different I don't know why that's even a camo it doesn't change the gun hardly at all it changes the tint I'm gonna go with that one though I need one more payback or more bloodthirsties and 50 kills without using mountain which is gonna suck on this gun so yeah it doesn't count towards your kd so at the beginning of the day like at the beginning of playing world war ii for me i go into war and i play a few games to warm up get my shot nice and toasty and then i jump into domination and start using the car 98 and like that's when i want to like go for clips and stuff like that and it's it's a really good game mode just to kind of screw around in i guess and on top of that it's just it's pure fun this is a really just a really fun game Game mode to play if you haven't played war yet i really recommend it you rank up just as fast if not faster in this game mode and it's just like i said it's a blast all around it's it's fantastic they really hit the head of the nail on this one i tell you what it, it's it is really fun oh hey that's a yep that's that's a dude i it's the first phase almost over and i haven't got any kills oh my god they got it okay you know what i'm falling back i want me a bloodthirsty so i'm just gonna go back here get that xp right there see successful withdraw so another thing about this game is it's it is really well balanced i gotta say it is phenomenally balanced i'm very impressed with it the sledgehammer basically killed the call of duty community and now they're reeling it back in big time there's a lot of people who are coming back to the call of duty franchise because of this game i should have got that kill i totally should have got that kill but like i said there's a lot of people actually coming back because of this game which i that's awesome i want to get this turret out ah, crap i need to get that turret out i need to take him out dude so if you got like bombarded by notifications yesterday or well this might go up tomorrow so two days ago of me going live on youtube well i i apologize i was trying to get my obs to work properly it it for some reason it's constantly dropping frames and i can't figure out why it's it's not a good situation i i honestly cannot figure it out and it's really bugging me it's really making me mad that i can't figure it out so it's trial and error i just gotta i gotta try and figure it out and it's been real frustrating so i apologize for like the bombardment again of notifications but yep i still haven't got a single kill and we're almost through the second phase shows how much i'm paying attention but i mean uh, in my defense i'm using a pretty crappy sniper to try and get bloodthirsties so i think my strong point is this last phase is the escorting phase oh my phone's freaking out oh my god there's one okay stay alive just gotta stay alive nope not happening no sir now a couple complaints though i do have with this game is incendiary shells they are the most annoying thing in the world they are legit the most annoying thing on the planet earth okay i gotta kill there's three then right there what? Hold on, hold on. Come on, push. Oh, you died. Okay, cool. <sighs> Just trying to stay alive, dude. I'm like two away. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oh, no. Oh, he got up in the turret. I saw his name pop up at the last second. It was too late. Another thing, like, we only get one grenade in this game. And compared to other Call of Duties, that's very minimal. You know, we get one, like, lethal or one tactical. It's not one and the other. It's one or the other now. I gotta say, it's it's rough. Because I have not been killed by a grenade as much as I have in this game. Like, this game, there's an ungodly amount of grenades right there. A perfect example. There's an ungodly amount of grenades flying through the air in this game for some reason i can't figure out why either like it, it's just it's an excessive amount of grenades just flying people just want to throw grenades a lot more in this game for some reason there's two okay we're at two we're at two we're at two we're good we're in business right now right now there's three that was a headshot wasn't it no that was one hit just need two more kills oh man well that's what i get for not playing objective i guess i don't know it's a pretty good game it's pretty solid i guess i mean i've gotten well over 90 kills in a game before but not terribly upset trying to get used to the carabin not in hardcore so can't uh can't complain too much there's another round is there really another round what oh 
boy here we go mm, round two i i thought that we had already played but it just clicked that that was one game before we're just playing griffin again so i really like war though it's it's a really good game to like cut com to you know what i mean it's a really good game mode to just talk over in my opinion i'm really enjoying it just wait for him to come back because he's gonna get back on that turret guarantee it gotta wait yep there he is what I hit him three times. I This is a two-shot gun. I hit him three times. I don't understand that. I don't get that. That's weird. I totally should have killed him, but whatever. What the air? We got B already. What? We actually got B? I'm impressed. My team is a little better than usual for some reason. So I got these glasses. I ended up winning a giveaway and I got these glasses. The brand is called Gunner and these glasses? I... I thought it was a joke. I'll be honest. I didn't think they would work. They work. If you don't know what gunner glasses are, basically they block all blue light from... Wow, we actually... Wow, oh my god, I spawned in front of that guy. That guy was running past me. Look at this kill cam. Look at that! He watched me spawn! Anyway, they block 100% uh, blue light from monitors and stuff like that. They also block 100% UV light, which is pretty harmful to your eyes. So, that being said, that that's cool. That's actually really cool. After, like, a day of playing, after, like, playing without these glasses, my eyes are straining, my eyes are burning, they hurt. One day, like, I, I played with these glasses on for one day, and my eyes felt amazing they felt like i just woke up if that makes sense you know what i mean like when you first wake up your eyes just they just they feel really good that's what my eyes felt like and i cannot complain i i really can't i got the clear lenses there are yellow lenses like the amber tinted lenses that will help a little bit more but the the clear ones they do just fine honestly they do wow i probably don't deserve that kill there's three <laughs> there's four and five holy crap oh my god there's so many dude <laughs> that kid that kid kills me off my streaks every time so yeah needless to say i am i'm pretty impressed with this uh company this is actually this is what they look like right here you know they're, they're not too bad they actually look really nice you can buy the frames and then get your own prescription inside the frames what are you doing what's this guy doing that's always an option and i think that's really cool because they actually do have really nice frames i really like the style of them they the the texture of them feels it's like it's plastic but it's like really really soft plastic it's like touching carbon fiber almost not not really that's that's a bad example but it, it's it's like really i don't know how to explain it dude holy crap i don't i don't know it it's really nice to touch i guess that don't take that out of context please it just it's plastic that feels really nice to the touch feels really soft and they they are very comfortable when whenever you are wearing them I, the reason i'm not wearing them right now is because my headset whenever i do have them on i'm wearing my headset at the same time my headset like pushes extremely hard on them and it, it actually hurts kind of which kind of sucks because i wear my headset whenever i'm playing but whenever i'm playing like a solo game or something i'll take my headset off i'll use tv volume to play and they're awesome i love them. cool one thing i don't understand is the epic variance of guns and i i understand it but it's just it's kind of irritating a little bit the epic variance of guns are dirty not as in like oh dude it's awesome it's come it's like dirty not not like in that sense like it's actually dirty like the guns are like war and tour and they've they look like they've been used a lot which is really cool don't get me wrong that is really cool but look watch okay okay if we click on the 1903 here look how shiny and nice that gold camo looks right looks phenomenal looks really good on the 1903 but if we go down here to the car 98 and go to the nightmare and then throw on gold look at it dude it's all scraped off like why it's like going to a fancy restaurant and like stealing those little gold flakes you get in your food and just getting a bottle of elmer's glue and just coating your gun in it that's basically what this is here's the thing right we go down to our secondaries and we go to melee we got the shovel here the epic version of the shovel is this it's dirty it's war but the heroic version is clean it's a brand new version so what i'm thinking is the heroic versions of guns in this game are the epic versions of the guns but cleaner i haven't really seen any heroics this is the only heroic gun i've ever seen in the game this isn't even a gun what am i saying it's a it's a shovel it's a gardening tool that that's what i think i think the heroic what uh variants of weapons are just the epic versions of the weapons but clean but anyway guys i want to thank you so much for watching comment rate subscribe follow me on twitter twitch and instagram and mixer all links are down in the description below and i will talk to you guys later goodbye